figure shows a square ABCD. E and F are two points on AB and AD respectively. EF is 3CM. EC is 4CM and FC is 5CM. Find the area of the square. You may use the chapters below to jump to the sections of the thinking process and different parts of the detailed solutions. Hi there, welcome to my channel, Mathusiasm. Today, I want to share with you this geometry question of 3, 4, 5. Without further ado, let's get started. First of all, we're going to find the relation of angles in the figure. So let's look at the points E and mark the three angles at this point as E1, E2, and E3. Using the given information, 3cm, 4cm, and 5cm, we can prove that angle E2 is actually 90 degrees. Therefore, we can express E3 in terms of E1. Next, we'll focus on the two red triangles AFE and BEC. Let's mark the two angles as small letter F and small letter C. We can also express F and C in terms of E1. Therefore, we can prove that the two red triangles are similar to each other. Using ratio of size of similar triangles, we know some information of AE and BC. And because we know that all sides of a square are equal in length, therefore, we have the relation between EB and BC. Finally, let's look at the green triangle EBC. As we have information of the three sides, EB, BC, and EC, we can make use of Pythagoras' theorem in this right angle triangle to find the length of BC, which is the side length of the square. And therefore, we get the area of the square. So the outline of the detailed solutions will be the following. Number one, we obtain the relation of angles, in particular, express all the angles in terms of E1. Secondly, we'll prove the two red triangles, triangle AFE and triangle BEC, that are similar to each other. Therefore, we know the ratio of size of these two similar triangles. Finally, we'll look at the three sides of the green triangle BEC, and using the Pythagoras theorem to solve for the side length. So we'll use the short form PYTH dot THM dot in the details solutions. And therefore, we can find the area of the square. So that's all about the thinking process. Let's jump to the detailed solutions. In the figure, we have marked the three angles at point D as E1, E2, and E3. Now, let's focus on triangle FEC. So, number one, because we have FE square plus EC square is equal to 3 square plus 4 square, which is 25. At the same time, we have the longest side fc square is 5 square, which is also 25. Therefore, fe square plus ec square equals to fc square. Hence, we have e2 is equal to 90 degrees. The reason is converse of Pythagoras theorem. So now we have 90 degrees and the second part is to express the angle E3 in terms of E1. Number 2, E1 plus E2 plus E3 is equal to 180 degrees. And the reason is adjacent angles on a straight line. Therefore, well, E3 is equal to 180 degrees minus 90 degrees minus E1 
so E3 is 90 degrees minus E1. Now we have highlighted two red triangles A, F, E, and B, E, C, with the two angles small letter F and small letter C respectively. The first step is to express F in terms of E1. So we look at triangle AFE, the sum of the three angles inside triangle is 180 degrees. Number 3, F plus 90 degrees plus E1 is equal to 180 degrees. The reason is angle sum of triangle. So F is 90 degrees minus E1. And step number 4, we are going to express small letter c in terms of e1 as well. So we look at triangle EBC, the sum of the three angles c plus e3 plus 90 degrees is equal to 180 degrees with the same reason angle sum of triangle. So c is equal to 90 degrees minus e3. And we know the expression of E3 in terms of E1 from the second step to obtain 90 degrees minus 90 degrees minus E1, which is E1. So to summarize, we'll have the angles E3 is 90 degrees minus E1. The angle F is also 90 degrees minus E1 and finally C is E1. So now we are ready for the second part to prove that the two triangles are similar to each other. In part 2, we will prove that the two red triangles A, F, E and triangle B, E, C are similar to each other. First of all, we'll have the two angles at A and B both are 90 degrees because of the angles in a square. Next, we'll have the angles F and E3 both are 90 degrees minus E1. It is proved in part 1. And finally, C and E1 are the same. So we have three pairs of corresponding angles being equal Therefore, we can conclude that the two red triangles AFE and triangle BEC are similar to each other, and the reason is AAA. -A -A. Hence, we can obtain the ratio of size, so let's check the corresponding size. We have AE and BC, these two sides. So the ratio is equal to another ratio, Fe to Ec. And the reason is because they are the corresponding size of similar triangles. And the reason to take Fe and Ec is that it is given that they are 3 and 4 cm respectively. At this point, we can't say that AE is 3CM and BC is 4CM. The reason is that, as you can see, AE is shorter than the hypotenuse FE. The same applies to BC as well. However, we can still get the relation between AE and BC by the following. We let AE equals to 3KCM and BC is equal to 4kcm. Later on, we can find out the value of k and hence we get the side length and the area of a square in part 3. In the final part, we're going to find out the value of k and hence the side length and area of square. First of all, the two sides AB and BC are equal in length. And the reason is because of the definition of square. Therefore, we can find out the unknown length EB easily. On the left hand side, it is 3k 
plus EB, and on the right hand side, it is 4K. Therefore, EB is equal to KCM. Now, let's focus on the right angle triangle EBC. We have the information of all the three sides, so we can write in triangle EBC the two shorter sides K square plus 4K whole square is equal to the hypotenuse 4 square. And the reason is because of Pythagoras theorem. On the left hand side, we have 1 plus 16 which is 17k square, and the right hand side is 16. So k square is equal to 16 over 17. Finally, we get the area of the square ABCD, which is the side length BC, 4k whole square. This is 16 times k square, which is 16 over 17. So the final answer is 256 over 17 cm square. So we solve it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give me a like, share and subscribe my channel. I'm happy to see your views in the comment section below. That's all I have for you today. I'll see you next time. Bye.